Port of Shelton today. Two great guests in studio with me, Port Commissioner Dick Taylor and one of the uh, tenants there at the port. It's Jesse Farrington from Skydive Kapowson. And good morning to you, Jesse. Good morning, Dick. How are you guys doing? Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Thanks for coming on and talking with me this morning. Yeah, welcome to spring. That's something. It's spring is sprung something, I suppose. (laughs) Somewhere. Well, Dick, let's start with you. How has the port been over the last week? You guys had some meetings and things like that? Yeah, we had a meeting yesterday and we did some... uh, uh, routine stuff, uh, a uh, extension of a, a lease or you know renewal of a lease, mm-hmm. and did a couple of resolutions to bring to uh, pay some bills and do stuff like that. Just routine stuff, nothing really exciting going on. But you know it has to be done, yeah. And you have to keep doing it, and you have to do it on time, or the state comes after you because you didn't do it right at the right moment. Exactly. So, anyway, that's what you know routine stuff going on. We had a clean up down at the marina on saturday oh yeah was well clean up slant safety inspection and uh that went very well good went very well fire department came down and looked at all the boat houses yeah sue and wendy were mentioning that last week when they were on that uh things were looking good and most folks are are uh, up to date with all their yeah i think uh, i think 67 percent are 100 percent complete <laughs> and the rest of them are you know it's minor things yeah like a little sign here or a, you know, a nickel dime kind of thing that, yeah. that needs to be done. But yeah, it's essentially done. One of the, I'd say, and I could be wrong, but I'll say probably one of the busiest tenants you have on poor property, sitting right next to you here with uh, Skydive Kapowson and Jesse Farrington. Um, tell me a little bit about the backstory on this for folks who may not know this hidden gem that we have just, just up the road. <laughs> Well, we moved here in 2006 uh-huh. and built our hangar on the port property, and um, we've enjoyed our uh, tenure here. It's been awesome. Uh, Shelton has been very welcoming, and we've even uh, just recently had two new skydivers that have bought property here in Shelton because of the Parachute Center, and that brings our total of people who have moved to Shelton for skydiving up to about 20. Wow. wow. Good. Isn't that something? Why in 2006 did you decide to come to Shelton? Well, we had built our own airport over in the town of Kapowson, mm-hmm. which is between Puyallup and Eatonville. And we had a neighbor that didn't like us, and he ended up causing us so much trouble that it was, uh, we ended up moving. Wow. So, and we'd looked all over. We flew down to California and looked at drop zones in Arizona and uh, thought of even Mexico and some other places. But uh, when we came over and looked at the Port of Shelton, none of us really wanted to leave the Northwest. Sure. So we... uh, is there something unique to the port property that uh, allows itself to have good skydiving ability? Well, our drop zone, the place where the skydivers were actually landing in Kapowson, we were virtually our experience jumpers on a five-acre piece of property. And that also contained our hangar and a few trees and our parking lot and a few other things. So it was a very small area. So to come to an area like the port where our runway is a mile long, you yeah. know, where they have uh, an area of 5,000, probably a mile by a mile, that's all clear for landing and stuff, it certainly gives us a, a bigger window to operate in. How often, uh, I know in the summertime and when the weather eventually gets nice, you guys are going up and down all the time over the weekends. What, on a a nice weekend, now you mentioned 20, 25 people have actually moved here because of this, but on a nice weekend, how many folks come into Shelton to dive, uh, to skydive with you guys? Well, we probably have anywhere from 100 to 150 different people that come on any good weekend. Yeah, yeah. that's so, amazing. Uh, and then we also have military that comes and trains, and uh, when they come out, the parking lot is exceedingly full. That's when you see all the cars parked outside our gate and uh, in the grass as well. What are some of the uh, services? What are the types of jumps that you guys offer? We do tandem skydiving. That's kind of the most popular for somebody who just come, wants to come out and try it once. Okay. They uh, go two people under one parachute. They go to 13,000 feet. Um, free fall for approximately 60 seconds. And then the parachute opens at about 5,500 to 4,000 feet, depending on how many tandems are on one load. Mm-hmm. 
and then they get about five to seven minutes under the parachute and come in for their landing and this takes a minimal amount of training about 15 minutes is really all it takes wow. and you know and away we go so that's very popular anybody can do it uh there is a weight limit but uh, other than that we've taken blind people we've taken paraplegics we've taken quadriplegics uh people that have uh have amputees um all sorts of things that w we can now do because of this tandem but then we also do uh, certification courses where you can come out and learn to be a skydiver you can learn to be a world-class skydiver we have uh, jumpers at our place that uh, hold world records in almost every aspect of the sport that's out there we've talked with some of them on the yeah, air over yeah. the years uh, yeah. about <laughs> the different types of jumps and uh the different than movies that you guys have all been in with the work that you've been doing you can find a lot of information at skydivecapalson.com uh is there at also four three two eight thousand uh, the phone number but uh, uh talk to me a little bit about how you got involved uh, with the with the jumps and like with Felix's big jump from the stratosphere or whatever that was and then the the other jump most recently the one without the net and things like that how do you with the net with the net, with with the, net. With the, the net, net was there but there was no parachute, parachute. Yeah. I knew it was one of those how do you get in touch with those people do they just know that you guys have been doing this a long time or <laughs> well most of them are family members sure. that do all this that helps stuff. Yeah. that helps and then um, yes our our drop zone being family oriented it started off with my father who was a world war ii fighter pilot and uh he started skydiving so my brother and i started when we were quite young and uh, then our kids all started when they were 16 years old and started jumping but uh, my husband and myself we have competed in world competitions and so we have our drop zone has a reputation worldwide uh so then when our kids started jumping uh, of course, they want to push the envelope even a little further, and and technology changes, and so they came in touch with the Red Bull Air Force, yeah. and that's a skydiving team that is pretty elite, <laughs> has all the Red Bull athletes in in various sports. So between that uh, connection with Red Bull and just the reputation of our drop zone worldwide, people do come looking to us for things. That's amazing. That is amazing yeah. to have it right up the road on port property. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're glad to have them. And good tenants they are? Yeah, they're pretty good tenants. I, I bet. I bet I'll get Excellent. a lot of folks in there. <laughs> well, we pay the bills. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to say we, that. We, oh, bring in, we bring in uh, quite a few people to the town of Shelton. We hope that we're not only good for the port, that we're good for the for whole the community, community yeah. in general. Yeah. I mean, uh, 100, 150 folks per weekend. I mean, yeah. uh, this obviously is a little, little different, but when do your main windows of operation happen? I mean... Well, our summer hours we consider May first okay, through uh, the end of October okay. and then we're open six days a week the only day we close is on Thursday and then lots of days we're open then anyway doing military or maintenance or something uh, so it's a pretty intense job during the summer and particularly when the weather is good do you know how many times you've jumped I've got somewhere around 9,000 oh my jumps. gosh that's amazing <laughs> that's amazing do you still is it still as exciting every time and it is. Uh, every jump is different. You get excited jumping with new students, uh, ones that are really good and ones that are really bad. <laughs> so both of them have their excitement in a different way. Um, we're still involved in uh, doing demo jumps uh, around the area, Cheney Stadium, a uh, few places. We even jump into one of the schools here in town. Wow, yeah. uh, so, you know, stuff like that's fun. And then uh, we do just our own. I'm particularly involved in what's called relative work, where you go up with anywhere from three to 30 other people and make formations in the SCAG going 120 miles wow, an hour and yeah. see how many formations you can make. And uh, it's just pretty fun. Very exciting. Skydivecapalson.com to learn a little bit more about this. So 1-800-SKYDIVE, the phone number two. You can online uh, make reservations online there at the uh, website. Again, Skydive Capalson talking with Jesse Farrington and Port Commissioner Dick Taylor during our Port of Call. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for coming on and talking with me about yeah. this. Okay. Well, thanks for having okay. me. Thanks it for is, having uh, us. Yeah. It is time now to surface on out of here, and we'll move on to uh, get ready for 9 o'clock here coming up in just a little bit.